this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we are going to answer one simple question. Can we take the longest trailer I've ever seen around Hirochi Raceway? So what is the longest trailer I've ever seen? It's the extended flatbed wind turbine blade. So how long is this thing? I'm really not sure because if we look at the vehicle selector, it says the extended flatbed trailer is 30 meters and then the wind turbine is 55 meters. But that doesn't really make sense because if you look at the length of the wind turbine compared to the trailer, you would expect it to be about double the length of the trailer and it's not. It does have some overhang over the trailer, but that is not 25 meters of overhang. So I really have no clue how long it is. All I know is it is extremely long. It's so long, you don't even really get a sense of how long it is unless you have something to compare it to. So the bus, that's pretty long, right? But compared to this trailer, it's not long at all. If I had to guess, I would say this thing is about four or five buses long. Yeah, this thing is so long, we have to use buses as a unit of measurement. It's also taller than the bus is. It's just massive all around. Look at this thing. That's like one bus length, two bus lengths, three bus lengths, four bus lengths, and then a little bit more just for good measure. So what are we going to pull this thing with? We're going to use a pretty ordinary truck. We're going to use just a regular T-75 Patriot Special with one small upgrade. We're going to go to the engine and we're going to give it the T-600 turbocharger. It is not necessary. With it only weighing 20 tons, we could pull it with the T-400. But we're on a racetrack. We might as well give ourselves a little bit more power. This thing is still not like a race truck or anything like that. It's a perfectly ordinary truck. It just has the top end engine available to you. And apparently it stalls out. So there we go. The trailer should be attaching any moment. Come on, trailer. Line it up. It wants to attach, but it won't. There we go. And one thing you can do is enable the transfer case. It's not necessary, but the trailer can get a little bit wobbly and it might help in those situations. Now the next thing we need to decide is what camera angle we're going to use because there are many camera angles we can use. One of them is where we can't see where we're going at all, but we can see the trailer really well. Another one is where we spend about 30 seconds zooming out so we could actually see the whole trailer all at once. Again, this thing is long. Did you see how long we had to zoom out and we're still not even seeing the whole thing from this camera angle? We're still zooming out. We're still zooming out. There you go. That's another possible camera angle, which is a... Uh, definite option oh goodness will it fit yeah, it'll fit under the bridge but just barely but out of the camera angle options i kind of like the one where i don't have to look where i'm going because you can really see the trailer and it makes it a lot more dramatic and thankfully i know decently enough what hirochi raceway is like there are sections like right here where i can just drive forward because i don't have to worry about the trailer crashing into anything when we get to the tight corners that's where things get worrisome now when you have something like this you have to take every corner as wide as you possibly can. So that means we go all the way to the outside edge and we ride this outside edge along the whole corner. And even when we do this, the trailer is gonna cut way inside. Look at this. So we're on the widest edge we can, even going in the grass a little bit, and the trailer is still cutting through the middle of the corner because it's that ridiculously long. So that's just one of the key things you gotta watch out for. You gotta look at what the rear of the trailer is doing because you have no idea where it's gonna be half the time because it's just so out there. You're just not used to seeing a trailer do things like that. So again, just the outermost edge, nothing fancy, nice and easy, only about 20 miles per hour. And I do go on the grass a little bit, that's okay. Some corners I'm gonna actually have to go in the grass a lot probably, like this one does tighten up near the end. so. We're going to intentionally go into the grass just a bit to make sure we can clear the inside corner and probably wasn't necessary, but better safe than sorry in a situation like that. Although you see, we're through the corner. The trailer is not. The trailer is not yet through the corner. This thing is inches away from hitting the barrier. So we actually did need to go through the grass on that one. And we needed to go through the grass a little bit more than what we actually did. So I'm just going to back this thing up a bit, adjust my angle, and make sure we get through this thing cleanly. Again, you think, oh, I'm taking it wide enough. You're never taking the corner wide enough with this trailer. You can't take it too wide. Come on. All right, this is where the transfer case has to give me a little bit of help because it is wobbling a lot back and forth. One thing you can do in this situation is just be patient and let it stop wobbling. Not me. 
I put it to manual transmission mode, shift it into second gear, and just floor it and let it bounce off the rev limiter until we can get some traction. All right, that's as wide as we can possibly go from that angle. And we're just going to pull it until it clears the corner. And now we can go back on the track, put it back to automatic transmission mode. Here we got a corner that goes left and then right. So what do we do here? <laughs> Good question. I don't know for sure. We're just going to guess. We probably want to pull through it as straight as possible. So like, kind of line it up like this, and we're going to cut the grass hard. We're just going to cut the grass straight through here. How is the rear of the trailer doing? It's doing fine. And then we got to go really wide right here and make sure we can clear the bridge. Can we clear the bridge? Yeah, if it's fine under the bridge. Oh, is it going to hit? No, it's good. It looked like the blade was going to hit because you know it's the blade, okay? The blade overhangs the trailer a good half of a car width, if not more. <laughs> it's just so big in every single dimension. Height, width, length. Yeah, it's got all of those. The only thing it's not that big in is weight. Again, only 20 tons. That's about the same weight as the drive van trailer strapped full of sodas. All right, this corner. I do not think we can do it without taking it really wide into the dirt. So here we go, into the dirt. Very, very, very close to the edge of the wall. Don't want to actually hit the wall, but if you wanted to, you could probably pretty much just scrape along the wall and you'd be okay. I don't want to have to do that if it's not necessary, but if necessary, yeah, you could probably do that. Come on, automatic transmission, stop shifting so much. This is one of those situations where you just stick it in the manual, stick it in the second and floor it, and it'll work fine. Perfect. We gotta keep taking it wide, keep taking it wide all the way until the end. And then we straighten it out. And pull this trailer along. And it looks like it's cleared, but you always gotta watch it because look, look at it's getting really close to that inside wall. Like I gotta go right up to the edge here to make sure that it can clear that wall, and it's only about a foot away from crashing into it. That was really really close even though it looked like we cleared it like it didn't look like there's gonna be any problems never doubt the length of the trailer we can go ahead and put this thing back into automatic mode as we accelerate because the automatic transmission is good enough for that and here we don't actually have to take it really wide to the outside we can just let the trailer cut through the grass really hard and it'll be fine other corners though you have the wall on the inside and when that happens that's when you really gotta take it wide this one we're gonna take it like a race car and you see the trailer will just go straight through the dirt Look like it's gonna tip a little bit. It won't tip though, it's sturdy. Continue along. All right, through here, I probably should have approached it a little bit differently. The main goal is just gonna be pulling the trailer as straight as we possibly can so it doesn't have a chance to crash into any of the walls around us. Looks like we're clear on the left side. Right side, we should be fine if I just pull it perfectly straight. And then we'll line up with the road a bit. And here's the final corner, and just for fun, we're gonna see what happens when you don't pull the trailer wide enough. Or when you lose traction. Come on, trailer. There you go. So on this one, we're going to only go out to the edge of the road. We're not going to go into the dirt like we did before. And I think we kind of need to go in the dirt a little bit for the entry angle we have. So I'm expecting the trailer to crash on the inside corner here. And you can see what happens when you do a mistake like that. Yep, there is a crash. All right, let's see. Can we move? Trying to go reverse? Not happening. Although that could be the automatic transmission. We're going to put it to manual, put it to reverse one, rev it up, and then drop the clutch. Does it help? No, we are really, really stuck here. And there's no way to pull it forward, I'm pretty sure. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to just bring it back and do this corner one more time. Because it's moving little by little. I'm not that patient. So we'll bring the truck back to about right behind the trailer, I would guess. And then for the trailer, we have to make sure we get the trailer behind the truck in a nice flat area. I think that'll work okay. So we'll attach the truck up to the trailer, which looks like it was positioned perfectly, actually. And on this run, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're once again, not gonna go outside enough. But this time, instead of slowing down when the impact happens like a normal person would, we're gonna power through it. In this situation, there's a good chance the whole thing just falls apart. We're gonna see if that's the case or not, and it looks like it made it through, although. <laughs> The rear wheel is spinning all over the place and is busted. I think we have 75% of the wheels on the back trailer working. The rest of them have been ruined. So at this point though, we can say for certain, we can do a whole lap around Hirochi Raceway with the wind turbine. The next question is, 
can we do it on some of the alternative layouts? And also, if you guys like this video, we could do something in the future where we try to go around Utah, USA using this thing, which I don't know if it'll work out as easily. Like this one went pretty easily. Utah, USA has a lot tighter corners with walls on both sides. So I just don't know how it'll work. It's probably the best option. I'm thinking of all the other stock maps and all the other ones have a lot more things I would have to worry about. Now, and you can kind of tell the trailer is wobbling more than before because the back suspension is so messed up. The automatic transmission is freaking out a little bit. Whenever the trailer wobbles, it upshifts. So now we're in like seventh gear for some reason. Second gear, first gear. It has no idea what's going on. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's baffled in this situation. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and just put it to manual mode. And then I can stick it in the fourth gear and just floor it. And look how great this works. It just keeps going and going. Steady acceleration. No nonsense. Beautiful. Like right there, you saw it wrapped up a bit. The automatic transmission would have upshifted there and it made a mess of things. And we should be able to get up to a lot of speed here. We got a nice long straightaway with a little bit of a downhill. I'm thinking we could probably get, well, with the busted trailer, maybe 40 miles per hour. If it wasn't busted, probably 50. There's 30. 35. Yeah, we're going to get close to 40. And we still got some road left. We're going to make it. Oh, no, it's not going to fit. Ooh, just... <laughs> oh man, just as I was getting confidence. I figured, oh look, it's fit through every other bridge. It'll fit through that one, right? The answer was no. It's not going to fit. And the truck is stuck. Like, I bottomed out the trailer. So I can't even drive this at all anymore. And you can see a little bit of the wreckage back here. The poor wind turbine has been ruined. And I know wind turbines, they ain't cheap. It also ain't cheap to transport them, and there's a reason, because you got close down roads to transport something like that. I, I don't know about you guys, but I want to see that again, because it kind of came out of nowhere and surprised me. This time, I know it's coming, and I want to really be able to admire the crash. So we're bringing this thing all the way back to before the corner, so we can really, really get up to speed here, and probably hit 50 miles per hour this time, and watch the destruction happen. And that's the answer to, can you go around this part of Hirochi Raceway? It is a 100% definite no. There's no way you're going to get it any lower so it can fit under there unless you decide to, like, drop the trailer off the truck so it's scraped along or some nonsense. But then I still don't think the back would be able to fit because you can't really get the back to fit unless you, would, like, deflate the tires. At that point, you're just doing all kinds of ridiculous nonsense where the easiest solution would be destroy the bridge and make a new one way to us. Are reaching for 50, not quite gonna make it, but it would if we had the whole straightaway to us. Are reaching for 50, not quite gonna make it, but it would if we had the whole straightaway to us. And here comes the impact. Camera is free, and boom. That's beautiful, the way the piece of shot shoots forward, the trailer bends, the thing falls off. That's great. Anyways. That's gonna do it for this video. Until next time, it's YBR. And remember, if you liked or disliked this video, I will know. I can tell by how big the trailer is. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time.